Welcome back. Fox 4 News at 9 continues. You know, in some schools, it might seem the cycle of poverty and poor performance is impossible to break. The discipline problems and low test scores are inevitable. But Fox 4's Nancy Lewis found they're not giving up hope in Leavenworth, where one school is proving you can't give up hope. Because what they're doing there, they say, can work anywhere. It's almost impossible to spend a couple of days at Anthony Elementary School and not get inspired. Everybody in the building is excited because of the remarkable turnaround in the school and the students. Anthony Elementary. Not long ago, this school was in deep trouble. It was chaos. Children feared recess and lunchtime where bullies ruled. The classroom wasn't much better. The movie Animal House did not do some of the rooms justice. Teachers spent most of their time just trying to instill some sense of order. We could see that kids were not learning. Faculty turnover was at an all-time high. Test scores at an all-time low. This is Anthony Today. Are you sir? The order and discipline problems have almost disappeared. Students are loving learning. I got it. Yeah. And the test scores prove it. In two years, the number of kids passing the Kansas reading assessment jumped from 56 to 84 percent. Math from 46 to 82 percent. So what's changed? Well, for one thing, Janine Kemker took over as principal. Mrs. Kemker, she's full of ideals. Did you go to the game last night? Did you have a good time? But Kemker doesn't take credit for the turnaround. There's that piece of, of creating an environment for change. Uh, that's definitely my part. Uh, but otherwise, it's the program. The program is a holistic approach to education called Eat, Exercise, and Excel. It starts with the belief that healthy children are better learners. Tanae and Daquan <coughs> and Haley. With parents' consent, almost all the kids here have to take vitamins every day. It helps you be smart. A prevention of obesity grant pays for the vitamins, but they're just part of the big picture. The quest for healthy bodies led to more structure. You need to identify where your worst problems are happening. For us, it was the cafeteria, it was recess. Instead of the free-for-all that was recess, where some kids did nothing at all and others bullied their classmates, structured activity now keeps kids moving for 45 minutes straight. Every day, no excuses accepted. Word number 16. Kids all have their own water bottles. No waiting in line for the water fountain, another trouble spot. So here it is, right about noon. It's lunchtime, but as you can see, the cafeteria is being used for other things these days. Lunch is served and delivered to the classrooms where teachers eat lunch with the kids. The final problem area disappeared. Now the class eats together like a family. They get to know each other over lunch and even learn manners. If you burp, what do you say? Excuse me? With healthy kids ready to learn and with the discipline problem areas now gone, a funny thing started to happen at Anthony. S-T-A-T-I-O-N. Children started learning. Meet Davion and his little brother, Willie. I'd be proud of myself. I'd be proud of myself that I'd be treating people right and stuff. I'd be proud and that I'd be doing good at school because no this is, this is, uh, this is a privilege that a regular kid could not have. To see them now, you'd never know what Davion and Willie were like before each exercise and excel. I had Willie in kindergarten. Throwing chairs as a kindergartner, uh, downright hitting teachers. You know, he, he would take a swing at you. There was just nothing he wouldn't do. Violent behavior, cussing at teachers, and failing at school. Real resistant to any kind of uh, academic work, that was Willie. After less than a year of eat, exercise, and excel, he's a poster child. He just changed, and he started getting it, and I think a lot of it came from his older brother. Davion's obviously a leader. He and his brother have turned the health, competence, structure, and discipline of Anthony into success. We a team. Yeah, we a team. And if you mess up on something, you just keep on trying, keep on trying, until you get it That's right. why I said do your best. The brothers now get A's. Anthony was willing to make a whole turnaround. It was like the kids was headed to a dead-end street, and now a new world has opened up for them. They gave them something to believe in. The kids' parents have something to believe in, too, and a new goal for all seven of their children. 
college. That's my hopes for him, and to make it big. <laughs> Back at Anthony, no one has a doubt these kids can do it, including the students. Where are you going? You know, everyone I spoke with at Anthony told me if it can work there, it can work anywhere. Several districts in the area are taking up EAT exercise in Excel this year, including the Turner School District. If you'd like more information about the program, you can just check out our website. Nancy Lewis, Fox 4 News.